Welcome back to Games Overboard. My name's Brian. And my name's Tim. We're going to be doing a party game today. We really like the game, but Tim really sucks at it. Why would you say that? Because you do, Tim. Alright, it's true. I suck at it, but I still really enjoy it. The game's called Thingamajig. It's from r and Incorporated. And it's for three or more players. You can play individually, or you can play in teams. Let's see what's in the box, Tim. Alright. It's actually r and Games Incorporated. Let me mistake my correction. Inside the game, you have the obligatory catalog from the company, rules, a pad of paper, some pencils for everybody playing, some scoring chips, and the thingamajig. The thingamajig is a random word generator, which means it generates random words. Genius. Awesome. To begin the game, you're going to put a pre-designated number of of the scoring chips in the middle of the table. Depending on how many people are playing, you get a different number of chips in the middle of the table. When you run out of these chips, the game is over and the person with the most of these chips wins the game. Every person receives a piece of paper and a pencil in order to write their answers on. And the youngest player in the game gets to be the definer, that's what it's called in the game, and receives the thingamajig. When they receive it, they place, push the large red button on it and it generates a random word. Now, the person with the thingamajig in their hand, in this case Tim, will be thinking of a one coherent clue to describe the word that's on there. It doesn't have to be one word, but it has to be all one complete thought. You can't just say and, um, and just keep going on forever. So once he has his clue, he's I've going to it. give it to us. What is your clue? Asia. Once again, it doesn't have to be one word such as Asia. But that's what Tim's chosen. Being nebulous isn't necessarily bad in this game. So we're all going to write our answers now. And once we have them all, Tim, the definer, is going to reveal his clue. The word was rice. We'll collect all the answers from everyone now and read them off. We have geisha. Eh, wrong. Rice. Hmm. That's right. Chinese whore. Chinese whore doesn't rhyme with dog. That's why it's a wrong answer. And Robert Blake. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, you should think about putting him in your thingamajig. The person who got any answer correctly, in this case, Rice, will receive one point. And also the definer, who got somebody guessed correctly, gets one point as well. You will get one point for every person in the game who guesses correctly. But if everyone guesses it correctly, the, the definer gets zero points. Bubkiss. Nothing. Zilch. Nada. Moving along. Mm -hmm. This is where the strategy and the ability to do well in the game comes into play. You want to use nebulous clues or inside jokes to try to get everybody but one person in the game to guess your answer. And that's how you're going to get the most points possible. So I would lean on the side of a, a harder clue to get, because if you give too easy a clue, uh, then everyone's going to get it right, they're going to gain a lot of points, and you're going to sit back with nothing. It's like a good, that's how I usually play. It's a good point. Um, the game keeps going around just to the left after each definer is done and describe new words until all the chips run out. It's a pretty easy, simple game to teach people. Um, it's one of those kind of learning curve games. Once you play a couple rounds, you get better at it and know what kind of clues people are more responsive to. Kind of like playing Taboo or Time's Up. In fact, it's actually by the people who make Time's Up, another one of our favorite games. Um, I really like the game. Um, what do you think? Uh, my only complaint, the box is the hardest box to open you grab the box in the gaming team? history. It should take you a good five to ten minutes to open the box, but after that, it's craziness in an open box. It's almost impossible to get open without a dedicated time span for it. As always, BoardGameGeek.com is a great reference for gaming and game information. You can pick up this game online at RNR Games website. Check out our other videos at www dot youtube.com slash games overboard if Tim ever gets his box open he'll say thank you for coming thanks guys thanks for watching